welcome to the Cookie Butcher, where flavor and design collect. Today, I'm going to share with you some tips for you to make the gingerbread houses in this holiday season. And I hope that these tips will help you to create a beautiful ginger house and also have a wonderful time with your family because I think so. This is a very, very good opportunity to get all the family involved from the little ones to the big ones. But for this case, uh, we're gonna just um, share some tips of our regular small gingerbread house. Okay, so I hope that you enjoy it and let's get started. Tip number one. One of the more important tips to make gingerbread cookies is to have a very good gingerbread recipe. If you click the link above, I share one of mine and it's a very good one and very easy to do and also it's very delicious. Okay, the second tip is that first you need to start designing your gingerbread cookie to see what material and what candies you're going to buy. That's a very, very important part. The little kids will enjoy this part a lot. Tip number three, when you're going to roll out your cookie, you need to roll it on a piece of parchment paper and also you need to roll it very, very thin so your pieces are not so heavy when it's time to build the house. Tip number four, you don't need to buy a special cookie cutter. Using a knife and a ruler can make the trick. Tip number five, if you add sprinkles, pearls, or the grease, that will add a very special touch to your cookies. Tip number six, have all your candies ready before you start building your gingerbread house. Tip number seven, please click the link above to see the recipe for the royal icing that is going to be your glue. Tip number eight, when your cookies are cool, you just need to start forming your house to see if all the pieces are flat. Tip number nine, start decorating all the little pieces of your gingerbread house before you put it together, following the design that you make. Tip number 10, you can use coffee filters as a sugar and a sprinkle catcher so you can recycle them again. Number 11. Before putting together your gingerbread house, you need to let dry your cookies completely. putting together your gingerbread house piece by piece. Give a little time for them to dry and then at the end you will put the roof. Tip number 13. You can use little containers to add support to your house when it's dry. Tip number 14. You can add shellac to your cookie house if you wanted to use it for several years. Tip number 15. This is a great community builder activity. If you can put together like a little fundraising this is a super great idea because a lot of people like to build gingerbread houses and if you prepare all the material for them that's very very good and then you can ask for donations to help any association okay thank you everyone i hope that you really enjoy these tips and that these tips get you inspired to make a gingerbread house with your family or by yourself. Sometimes you don't need so many people around you to make it so you can do it by yourself, okay? So I really, really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And also you can follow me on my social media, on my Instagram, <laughs> on my Twitter over here and my Pinterest, okay? And um, I think so that's it for today. And stay around, don't miss the next cookie tutorial. See you next time, guys. Bye.
拜。